Hey guys, this is Torna, and today I'm going to be talking about Alliance Wars. First of all, I want to thank the other envoys. We've been talking about this a bit over on the envoy server. And honestly, it's got to the point that I'm just... I need to get my thoughts out there because I'm just so frustrated about Alliance Wars lately. Um, my Alliance Wars are getting to the point that they're clearing at like 10 a... Uh, sorry, 2 a.m. my time. And I just... I don't want to wake up at 2 a.m. just to be able to get my final hits in and stuff. It's just impossible and it's very, very frustrating. It means that Alliance Wars are over by the time I even wake up. There's just, it's it's got to the point that things are just kind of getting a bit ridiculous in my opinion. So, Alliance Wars are currently just about speed instead of skill predominantly. You can just throw more, uh, throw more characters and throw more um, squads at things to just kind of get it over and done with and they decided who kind of gives up their sleep schedule at time decided on who kind of lines up with that time zone and stuff i mean my alliance will starts about midday my time so i can get a lot of attacks in i can get uh until like midnight i'm usually awake until then but then after then when it starts kind of winding down and it's getting closer and closer between the squads if i miss out on getting those kind of last couple attacks in after that time it's just kind of can completely screw things over and it feels really bad feels bad for me feels bad for my alliance now um, as i said they're kind of over within those four first 14 hours because people can just kind of chuck stuff out and fail attacks are just mattering less and less seeing as we have just so many good war offense squads now um it doesn't matter too much if you don't completely clear something to begin with because someone else can just chuck something else at it it's not about skill it's just kind of about who you have available and stuff to just kind of chuck at it so First of all, I wanted to talk about a couple solutions that I disagree with. I'm not saying they're necessarily bad or they won't work, but I do think in the long term, I don't think that they're kind of completely going to solve the issue. So the first one is making Alliance Wars shorter. So I think that this, uh, I don't know. It, I don't know about you guys, but when the Deadpool two hour raids came out, I was waking up at 5 a.m. to be able to do them, uh, set an alarm 5 a.m. to be able to do these Deadpool two hour raids. I don't think that making Alliance Wars shorter is necessarily better because either it's in the middle of someone's work day, it's in the middle of the night or stuff like that. And it makes it really difficult to have an alliance within multiple different time zones because people might just not line up properly with what you've kind of what you've got it means that they're most likely going to need more time zones um it's just i don't think that it's great and in a, in the area like where we are at the moment where it's getting harder to find some people to fill out squads i uh, fill out slots in your alliance and stuff like that um making recruiting harder i don't think is going to be a great idea i'm not saying it can't work but i don't think it's a solution that we should look into the other one is just adding more alliance or offense and defense squads. Think about it with when they added Emma Marauders. They were really tough to beat for a while until people kind of figured out what they can do. They've got X-Force they can use. They've got Fantastic Fortron. We've got Black Order. We've got other stuff that we can use to chuck against them. It doesn't fix the issue in the long term because we're all just going to figure out what to do. We're smart enough and dumb enough or we have big enough wallets so that we can just figure it out and chuck it at it. And we'll just figure out how to do it with what we've already got as well. While there's great new war offense squads, if we can fix something with Fantastic Four, we're going to do it. So these are ones that I think are better solutions. Well, it's kind of this one big better solution that I think I want to kind of help push towards Scopely. And uh, I know there's a few people that kind of disagree uh, with that do agree with me. Um, so I'd love to hear from you guys what you think as well making alliance wars about efficiency instead of speed star wars galaxy heroes i think has a really great idea they award more points if you have successful attacks the winning on the first attempt and how many characters survive it and it adds more tactics it means that you're not just chucking stuff randomly at things um while at the moment, obviously, people don't necessarily just chuck it randomly. Um, you might like just edge by with a win kind of thing. But this would reward you for actually playing smart instead of just chucking stuff around. Um, makes Alliance War defenses better better because it means that people are getting less points when they're like double hitting things and it means that you can screw with the enemy's efficiency and this is going to tie into the next one which is just no more energy 
If you're going the efficiency route, it doesn't matter how quickly things are cleared as there's no bonus to clearing quickly. You're just kind of getting through things faster, um, making yourself more efficient and stuff. And it gives people more power to do what they want and be able to use their day the way they please instead of, oh, hey, I've got to log in every two and a half or three and a half. I can't remember exactly which it is to be able to get my attacks in. Also, instead of being obviously because there would be no more um, attacks purchasing, make it so that there's more boosting, um, which means it kind of plays into this whole defenses, uh, successful defenses go better because if there's like a survivor bonus, then it means that if you kind of wipe out some of the enemies, then they're getting less points overall. Um, being able to kind of maybe double boost. So they've got like six deflex or something like that. So that they're harder to kill would be great in my opinion. So a point mock-ups, this is what I'm kind of picturing at. One point per character kill, basically what we've got at the moment. If you clear it on your first attack, then you get 10 points as well. So you get 15 in total. Five attacks if it's the second one, uh, five points if it's the second attack, so you're getting 10 points in total then, and five points per boost. So that way, if you're boosting something, you are potentially giving the enemy more points, you, so you've got to actually think about what you're boosting if you think it's going to be a great idea. That one there I'm a bit iffy about. I'm not sure if you kind of, you might decide not to boost anything on the, uh, the team so that way they get less points. I'm not sure. It's kind of, um, that was a bit more up in the air. I wasn't sure entirely. One point per character surviving on your attack team. That's one thing that would be interesting about X-Men is obviously with Phoenix, she's designed to die, which means you're getting one less point immediately. And then one point per enemy slot in your squad. So if you, sorry, for empty slot in your squad. So if you go in there with just your Phoenix and that's all, then all of a sudden you've got four extra slots and you're able to kind of wipe someone out. You get four extra points from that. Room bonuses stay the same. So if you clear the barracks, it gives 50 points. If you clear the bridge, it gives a uh, hundred or 200, 200 for the bridge, hundred for a reactor, et cetera, et cetera. And then bonus 500 points for the full clear so that way you're still being rewarded for that full clear and as long as you kind of get that full clear get it as efficient as possible you're still going to beat your enemy just purely making it so it's more about efficiency and using your squads correctly rather than kind of um rather than kind of just chucking stuff everywhere. Um, the other thing is that obviously with this, I'm not sure about armory and hangar and stuff because obviously they affect the enemy squad, uh, whether they kind of keep them the same. Obviously, if they've got the no more energy, then maybe they might change it. So that way it's not still a race to clear that. But I don't know, it's kind of a little bit up in the air there. So let me know what you guys think of that as well. But overall, I think just moving towards a more efficiency um, route would be a better idea. So that way, instead of just having this race that ends at 2 a.m. my time or something, then we could actually kind of plan it out and stuff. Making MVP just actually worth something as well, giving more rewards based on uh, how efficient people are, I think is a better idea. But that's something that I'm kind of a little bit iffy about because I don't think they're going to give more rewards. While something like making uh, it more about efficiency, I think overall it's just better for them as well because it means that people are going to be investing in defense teams more because it means that you're more likely to be able to get rid of them getting this extra first clear attack, uh, first attack clear and stuff like that. And then finally, room upgrades. Room upgrades are currently just kind of stale and they've been the same way since the launch. I mean, we've got the same nine, uh, 12 rooms since the launch. Um, and honestly, just having a way to be able to upgrade them would be great. Like maybe make it so that they have um, some more negative effects or something like that on the enemy when they go in there or more positive effects for your team or maybe uh, defenders are boosted there or stuff like that, I believe has been previously data mined. So I think it'd be really cool if something like that was implemented. It was rumored to be coming in Q1 2021. So maybe we'll see that in the next couple months. Um, but honestly, I'd love to see something like that to just kind of mix up the rooms because they're kind of just a bit on the stale side. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, I honestly really hope that they push to more towards this kind of efficiency route. Uh, it's been kind of 
I don't know. It's it's just frustrating to me, Alliance Wars, at the moment because of the time that it ends um, and the fact that it kind of comes down to the wire a lot of the time. And it doesn't matter how efficient you are if you can kind of just have people on at the right times. But I'd love to hear from you guys what you think. Are you frustrated about it or not? Or is it just something that doesn't really matter to you? That's it for today. Have a great day and goodbye. <laughs>